guys, we gonna do a parallax effect in Filmora today. So I will show you from the scratch how to do it and it's a mind bending technique and we will simply do it with pan and zoom effect. So let's begin. I'll just drop down my footage here on the timeline as you can see and uh, from here this is the footage. Let's take a look to the footage as, it, as you can see. That's how it is just a nice, quite silent footage of Toronto City, where I live. And uh, we will make a parallax uh, or zoom or a dolly zoom effect with, uh, by using pan and zoom technique. So this is the full footage that you have seen so far. And let's start and begin. And oh, by the way, I'm working in Filmora 9.2, which is the latest one right now. Uh, so I'm going on my timeline. I right click on my uh, footage, uh, go to crop and zoom. There you can you go and pan and zoom section and you're going to click on this screen. So I'll just squeeze it a little bit here. But I'll just keep things straight and I'll uh, just move it toward, toward this side so that it won't uh, distort the total image and then I will click at the bottom here uh, or at the end of the timeline or, or the end of the clip here you can see and I'll just move it a little bit up so that it will be uh, it will look like that it's it's moving or it's zooming in and that's how it's gonna look like so just click OK and uh, to make it more smooth we will do a short timeline rendering it's not gonna take too long because the clip is short here so uh, as soon as it gets complete and we will get a very smooth image uh, to play and you will see the technique here by the way uh, my computer is fast so I did not need to uh, do the rendering but that's a habit that I will normally do the rendering uh, because it makes my image or makes my footage more smooth or uh, look like a buttery smooth footage so that gives some quality to the footage as well so um, doing the timeline rendering is very good most of the time whenever you want to uh, finalizing things so uh, some just doing a little bit finalizing and it will be a short video so you will see the effect as soon as this rendering finishes so stay with me and don't forget to subscribe my channel Photologic Studio you will come to see some very good techniques in Filmora and I will keep posting videos so do subscribe and let's begin so now you can see here how smooth is going this uh, zoom in is happening right now in the footage after rendering you can see and even it's not distorting the quality of the footage as well and as you see this looks very nice very slow and and how deep is this going as you can see everything very clear and it looks really nice no shakes and uh, no distortion so there we are so that's what we learned today so stay tuned and i will keep posting thanks for watching bye